A group of Midwest Democrats say their party has a flyover problem. Our Grant Herms talked with Debbie Dingell about what she believes could help solve that. Republicans have long accused Democrats of being the party of coastal elites. And while Democrats have scoffed at those claims, some within the party are now pointing to just that, saying things need to change before 2024 to help the lives of millions of Democratic voters, not just in Michigan, but across the Midwest. At the front of that push is Michigan Congresswoman Debbie Dingell, who's been on a mission to change the party's mind that the Midwest is flyover country and instead needs boots on the ground. It's a push started decades ago by the late Michigan Senator Carl Levin, who wanted to move away from the smaller, less diverse early primary states. Carl Levin recognized 30 years ago that those small states actually impacted what got considered in Washington. That's why it's important that the early states reflect the diversity of the country. Dingell and other Midwest Democrats have been fighting to put their states on the radars of the party leaders, where most of the top brass is from the coast. But according to new reporting from Politico, that fight has been an uphill battle. Dingell even making this map of the home districts of the party leadership, mostly centered on the West Coast and Northeast. The map sent to the president as a wake-up call. Today we're starting a heartland caucus. Um, you know, in 2016, I predicted that Donald Trump would win, uh, and he did. President Biden said to me, there's no road to the White House that doesn't go through the heartland. He understands it. But the work may be cut out for Democrats in those middle states, especially Michigan, after the DNC chose coastal South Carolina as the first in the nation primary. And recent polling showing only one in four Michigan Democrats want Joe Biden to run again, potentially leaving the door open for Republicans to step in. Well, I think, look, we just have to work to make sure that our voices are part of the mosaic of what is at the table. I think we made the point. Shifting gears as the political scene shifts to think about the next presidential election. Now there are a few things Dingle says that still need to happen, but she says the Heartland Caucus does have support from leadership within the party. In Detroit, Grant Herms, Local 4.